We are back home. <gasps> Arrow. This is a weapon. We'll put letters on the arrow and then they shoot it out. Your message just gets delivered. I used to pee in these type of buckets growing up. Maybe it's a saw shaker. Honey, where are you? Hello? <laughs> I'm hiding because this is the one piece of fruit that we have inside this entire room right now and I don't want to share it. So I'm like debating where can I eat this where my mom and my fiance won't go. Ooh, can I have a bite? By the way, we're going to a Hanok hotel today. A Korean traditional hotel. I didn't plan for this. None of my outfits that I brought are very... They're not giving Hanbok. They're not giving Hanok. So I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to make it look like modern Hanok. That's the look I'm going for. So I'm going to braid my hair and maybe put some ribbons in there. But here's what's going on. Yesterday, I saw my grandma. This is the same grandma that asked if I had a thyroid condition when I was younger. Do you know what a thyroid condition is? She's the one that when yeah. I was seven years old thought that I was too fat. And she asked my mom if I had some issues. Yesterday, we're out at dinner and the whole time she's commenting on my weight. She's like, oh my god, you're a stick. You're going to fly away. You're so pretty. I'm like, you're fueling my mental health problems right now, lady. You're really doing it for me. And then later she goes, so what do you do when you're hungry at night and you don't want to eat dinner? That's a bizarre I question. I think that's a to test. Ask. I know, I think so. It's a <laughs> setup. And I said, oh, I guess I don't really like eat dinner then. I maybe we'll do like a light salad. Oh, sometimes I just eat fruit. And I'm just saying this so casually. I'm not even thinking about my answers. I just say sometimes I just eat fruit. She looks at me, drops her spoon. This is a 90-year-old lady who couldn't hear half the shit that I was saying to her, but she catches this. She goes, fruit, you know if you eat too much fruit, you get fat. <laughs> and I'm like, is this lady serious right now? So basically my grandma called me fat yesterday, and this is also the same lady that gave us three Bibles, and she told me that I'm basically diagnosed with anxiety because I don't believe in the Lord. She said, your dad has been telling me that you have anxious thoughts. Because you don't go to church. Um, lady, no, I think 99% of my problems are religious trauma. I'm just kidding, it's not. But it's, it's a good percentage, okay, is religious trauma. Yeah, she also tried to make my depression about the fact that I'm not going to church. She was basically like, when you went to church, you weren't depressed. And I'm like, no. ah, I was also like, years old it was a bizarre bizarre meeting so we're gonna go to a hanok today speaking of old people and speaking of old things which hanok is basically i keep dropping things it's like a korean traditional area it's called insadong you go to insadong when you come to Seoul, and they've got all these beautifully preserved buildings i act like i know what i'm talking about and i don't know what i'm talking about but you'll see a lot of people rent hanboks and go there and take these beautiful pictures it's so cute they have a lot of these older buildings that you can can't, you can kind of walk through, do these little tours with, take pictures, but they also have not hotels, but like these Airbnbs. And they've been preserved for, I think the one that we're going to has been preserved for like 150 years. This is like the highlight. <laughs> this is why he came to Korea. This is what I've been talking about the most. Because like last time we came, four years ago, mm -hmm. that's one area we didn't go to. Yeah, I wanted to go. I keep thinking about it. Me too. And then Patricia went and she was like, it was banging. And here's what's crazy. It's crazy to think that people lived like that. People had no, like, no doors. No AC. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I lived without AC. That's not that, that's not that old. It just feels like a time capsule. I'm really excited looking at the pictures. And I was talking to my mom about this because she's like, oh, what are you guys doing today? And it would just take all day for my mom to cook one meal. She's saying, you don't understand what it was like back then. My mom said when she was a young bride, she would wake up in the morning, cook breakfast. She would have to cook breakfast for my grandparents, then for me and my sister, then for my dad, and then she would start all over. The minute that breakfast was done, she would do the dishes, clean up around the house, and then start lunch. And then once that was done, she would start dinner, and it was a full-time job. I'm so glad that I don't have to live like that because, <laughs> because I got a HelloFresh. I love Jimmy. <laughs> and I have my fiance who cooks the HelloFresh deliciously. <laughs> it's weird. He really likes making HelloFresh. It's kind of like his thing. He doesn't even want me to touch it, which by the way, I can cook a bang in HelloFresh. I'm not a pro in the kitchen, but I can follow the directions. It's so simple. It's like a perfect recipe, but he like kind of gets off on it. That's fun. It's satisfying. It's not very hectic. Everything's very systematic, mm -hmm. which I like. 
<laughs> but I cannot imagine going back three years, back to when we did not have HelloFresh. HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mealtimes by delivering these pre-portioned ingredients and easy to prepare recipes right to your door. You can skip the checkout lines. You don't have to do the whole recipe hunting. That used to take me forever because I want to cook new things. I want to switch things up. But looking for recipes, gathering them, and then writing down ingredient lists was freaking exhausting. HelloFresh keeps your taste buds on your toes with 40 recipes every week to choose from. They have over a hundred seasonal and convenience items to choose from every single week. There's just so much variety. There's options for everyone and every lifestyle. Trust me, if you watch our BAM series, I am not a good chef. I'm not a pro in the kitchen. I would not be worried though if I'm having a dinner party and I have HelloFresh. Like that's how not worried I would be. It's so simple. It's foolproof. And they're just so easy to prep in just a few steps. I'm talking breakfast, lunch, snacks, dinner, everything in between. HelloFresh is going to be like your best friend. I love that they always feature seasonal ingredients that are picked at peak ripeness. Just quality that you can taste. So it gets from the farm to your front door in seven days. In less than seven days actually. And April is Earth Month. HelloFresh on average has a 31% lower carbon footprint than the same meal, like the same exact meal that you would make by getting supermarket ingredients. Plus, nearly all the HelloFresh packaging materials are curbside recyclable in most areas of the US. So make sure to check out HelloFresh.com and use code MissMangoButt50, that's MissMangoButt50, for 50% off plus your first box ships free. That's HelloFresh.com and use code MissMangoButt50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and I desperately need to braid my hair or something because why has my hair been so flat in Korea? Usually that's like the outer layer mm, of the- Like a palace? Yeah, that's usually back then. The guards are standing there checking everyone. Everyone wants to get into the town. We're trying to get into the town. We are. Look awesome. There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances when she thinks nobody sees. I don't know where I'm going. Look at this right Bro, this is so I feel, pretty. I feel like I'm in a K drama. I feel like you're walking me back home in the olden days without the invention of Tinder. And then this all of a sudden very modern building. Hello, what's going on here? But look at these doors. It looks like it's not 2,000 years ago. <sighs> wow, I should be sneaking out of these windows to go on a date with you, yes. We made it to the hotel entrance. I've never been to a hotel that looks like this. You know when you go to the, these themed hotels that are not like a regular hotel, it feels like it's just stuck in the middle of nowhere. This, it fits the whole aesthetic. This whole vibe, this door looks like it belongs here. Okay, let's go see how we even get in. Wow. Mm -hmm. Turns out we're fucking idiots and we came to the wrong location. So we're gonna walk some more and get to the other one. Guys, look at this view. Guys, do you guys see this? It looks crazy here. Wow. Okay, thank you. What are you eating? Is that beets? Mmm, it's beets. Lady. What is that? Cucumber? Zucchini? Zucchini? Mm -hmm. These are like potatoes? I love these. Mm -hmm. Incredible. But you know what? <laughs> <laughs> what you know about that triangle team but mm. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, so we just ate and Stephanie's cramps is killing her. She's in bed already. Okay, then I'll give you guys a tour. Yes. This like a fiance takes over the vlog. Okay. So I'm gonna take over the vlog because Stephanie is dying in this very nice this is honestly probably one of the most exciting parts of Korea trip Like I was really 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 excited about this whole area These doors is where we walked in I'll show you guys the outside after It's really nice So on this side we have a little landing area It's like a little tea room You sit down and you have tea They brought us some snacks and teas Amazing I'm not sure what this is I'm still trying to figure out what this is It's very heavy It, it feels like a lock My favorite thing in the world Let me show you guys is when you look out the window, you just see these roofs of traditional house. Like, these are one of my favorite things growing up. Yes, he was born 2,000 years ago. Not that I grew up in a house like this. I used to pee in these type of buckets growing up. And over here, we have the bedroom. How comfy is the bed? Right now, an 11 out of 10. Okay, is the floor heated? It's been heated. Holy moly, guys, it's amazing. Over here, we have another beautiful window. When you look out, you see this very nice, this is what the outside looks like. Very aesthetic. On this side, we have the world's smallest bookshelf. And then we have the world's most narrow mirror. It's about six inches. Most narrow. And then over here, there's a door. Oh, this is a fake door? I hate a door that cannot be opened. Can I open this? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we have bathrobes and... Yeah, you know for a house that was built 2,000 years ago, it's quite updated, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, they even have coffee machine. Oh, they have shin ramen. They know what's up. Oh, yeah, they know what's up. They got water bottles. We have a safe fire extinguisher. Let me show you guys the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Oh, come on, man. Every freaking hotel must have a bidet. And this house is built 2,000 years ago. And this bidet has I've seen some shit. We got a little window over there. We have a nice walk-in shower. Nice, nice. Okay, and then we walk out of this way. We got another landing area, seating area. Now this, if I'm not mistaken, is a telephone. I think. Maybe it's a saw shaker. No, it's a telephone. The audio comes out of here. And this is like a microphone. So you talk, and then you stick your ear to that. I think. I'm just pulling shit out of my ass right now, so I could be wrong. And this is a little bucket. I used to pee in these type of buckets growing up. You don't go to the restroom, you just pee in there. And then you dump it out in the morning. If you know, you know. Yes, I pee in the bucket. Here's the second entrance. Love this little walkway. Very cute. This is bedroom number two. I don't know why we got two bedrooms. This was the only room that was available. You know, this room is not as cozy as the first one. Actually. I die for this. I live. Oh my god. Look at these little shoes. Oh my god. Look at this little bench. Oh my god. Oh, this is such a vibe. This beautiful bonsai tree. Is that bonsai tree? Probably not. Okay, are you guys ready for the most epic shot? Come on. And they have a little grass area. This is honestly a dream. Look at this. Why is it here? I don't know. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my god, look at this tree. Every tree should grow like this. Like why? Grow straight. You should all grow sideways. And then look at this. Look at this view. Ready? I'm gonna send you guys up, okay? This is absolutely stunning. Now let's go check on Stephanie. Are you okay? How is the shared space? Oh, I haven't seen the shared space. Let me go check. You know what? I'm gonna try to wear one of these. I think that's what people used to wear back in the days. So these are like rubber textured slipper almost. Oh, okay. It's not the most comfortable, but it does the job. A few moments later. My shoes keep coming off. So this is a common space. Wow. Oh my God. That's kind of cool. You know, these homes has like a smell. And it smells kind of good. It's like a nice woody smell. I love it. So over here on this very beautiful, nice... No, what is this called? We have a little camera. I think this is a camera. <gasps> oh my god, that is awesome. And then we got a typewriter. And then we have two 
Very modern mobile TV. So this is where we're staying. Yeguo Jai is the name, and then we have another beautiful. Zhang Qi Shen Dai Shi Dong. Yeah, I have no idea what that means. I just love the view. I think when the sunset time comes, it's gonna be really pretty. What is that little thing? The heck is this? <gasps> a fucking arrow. This is a weapon. Maybe that's how they send letters. I've seen people put letters on the arrow, and then they shoot it out, and then your message just gets delivered. Kind of dangerous, I would say. Let's go check on Stephanie again. Oh, hello. Are you alive? Oh. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna I feel like I have the black plague. I what do you like mean? I I have, um, I don't know, what were the diseases back then? I have it. And I gotta lay here. And then the doctor's gonna come and they're gonna do this shit. They're gonna tell you what's wrong with you. What's wrong with you? I think you are a little... <laughs> hey, can I just say something? I have a feeling it's gonna be really scary at night. Why? There's lights, there's AC. <laughs> Why would you be scared? There's central heating. Yeah. Let me tell you guys something. So back then, you know the bed? The ones in China at least. You know how they keep their bed warm? Because there's no no AC, no heater. Someone lays in there. Okay, so that's one way. If you're like the kings or you have a lot of wives, you make one of your wives lay in the bed before you. So your wife in the bed will warm up the bed. And then by the time you're ready to sleep, she gets out and you get in. And the bed is warm. Wait, why doesn't she sleep with you? Because sometimes you want to like have different wives, like like sometimes that wife is just a bed warmer. Die. The way I grew up, right? My grandpa will put these like it's like a rubber bag. You put boiling hot water inside, close it, and you throw that little sack into the bed to warm the bed. Oh, those are the good days. Anyways, so that's one way to keep the bed warm. Some of the beds in China, right? It's basically an oven underneath. Like you throw like, wood sticks in there and you light it up to heat up the bed. Oh, yeah, so good. Which one's the best? I think like extra wife is pretty. <laughs> it's kind of efficient. Like, <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> like cramped. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you such a mess? I just love, love, love this. Can you be my butler? What do you need? Do you want some tea? Guys, these tea, amazing. Open your mouth. Oh, no, no, no. This is I am the queen. <laughs> and you, my butler, who falls in love with me. Yeah. And then you know what happens, right? When they find out? Yeah, I get executed. <laughs> no, I get executed. What about me? You don't get executed. Honey, jeez. Oh, <gasps> don't let the king see this. Hush. Hand me. You can go lighter. You're going to dry out my contacts. This is nice. Just laying here, having a hot young man fan in me. Here, here's okay. a tip. Thank you. Uh huh. Get up. <laughs> I'm starting to feel alive inside of this hanok. It's really nice. I thought he was being dramatic. Maybe it was my period cramps talking, but with this golden hour, this patch of grass, I feel like I haven't seen grass since America. So right now we're gonna go ahead and explore this area. There's a lot of like cute traditional souvenir gift shops. There's all these mom and pop shops. There's a bunch of tourist attractions, but also a lot of cute cafes that are kind of in like this more traditional style. I think that there's even this like outdoor shopping mall, which I'm trying to go to. I think it's like 70 different small tiny little vendors and I want to see if I can get some gifts or some cute little knickknacks Wow, so we're going to this really cool shopping area right now oh, Honey, we're on destination. Wow, this what is this? This is a skincare store Wow The random shop. I had a never ending stomach because I would devour literally everything. It looks so good. To take more pictures, I think this is gonna be a thing. Anytime we come to one of these. You call me early morning, it was a bagel. You was out late last night. And drinking with your girls when you come through. But every time you do, we fight. Balloon. What is this? Oh, it gives you a helium a, balloon. Yes. Do you want a balloon? I, I can't walk around. Why? Just holding a balloon. You can tie it on your hair, Honey. so you don't get lost. So you I can see find the balloon. No. 
Walmart There's a Walmart. donut. Wait, that donut shop exists in LA. Okay, we can't go to Randy's Donuts. What's going on? It's like half gentrified here. I'm passing a Baskin Robbins and a Starbucks and a Randy's Donuts. And then everything else is like a hundred year old chicken soup. And then the Starbucks is like, we're 300 years old. Yes. <laughs> It's like oh, a... Is this like beer and... Yes! Can we see what's inside? That looks yummy. Spicy looking. It's like fish. Like octopus oh, fish. It looks good. This looks really it's cute. It's like a nine market. Can we just walk through it? Yeah, I don't know if we can. Wow. Oh my god, this is like the seafood market. Yeah. Just on the side of the street. Wow. This is... ah! It's always the tacky neon tacky lights neon with the cheapest lights. plastic tables and That's chairs the on the side of the street. Uh -huh. My grandpa used to take me and my sister. So one of the area we're from has a lot of seafood too. So we'll go out at night. They all just sit on the side of the streets like with the breeze breeze. Oh. I just see, where are we going? This way. Where are you taking? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I Look at oh this little alley. I'm in shock. Holy shit. Wait, look Even at this little restaurant, honey. Are you seeing this? Restaurant? I think so. It's so cute. Even these alleyways, literally, I will have dreams at night you like this. I'm not kidding. I'm literally not kidding you. <laughs> this is like straight out of my dream. Um, honey, this way. They have so many of these chicken soups. And I'm craving that right you now. It's kind of chilly, like a warm bowl of chicken soup. Yes. Oh, oh where are we? What just happened? Oh my oh, god. The oh, nighttime, the lights are on. I feel like this mall is the whole traditional meets the modern aesthetic. And then even like that cute little Photoshop place. I'm so stoked. I don't even know where to start. And then look at this. So adorable. And then in there, this is the little outdoor shopping mall. Oh my god, look at these like, wait, what's in here? What's in here? I'm like so distracted. Raspberry, black sesame. Oh my god, the jellies, the jellies. Yes, they're like the jellies. Oh, I need to get like at least one of my favorite flavors. You guys, I got one. I got one. Chips from the these. Oh yes. These are good. Bro, these are so I good. Like it's all like vegetables. Oh, freeze oh, dried. Freeze dried, yes. They're really yummy. Oh. So these are all like local Vendor. vendors. Necklace up against me, right? And I said, Oh, yeah, I don't really look good and stuff like this. And he goes, Yeah, you look better in diamonds. Fits. Then why is my neck empty, huh? I can't stop running into this little thing right here. And I want to buy every single one of them for Tiffany, but I think it's becoming a problem at this point, so I won't. This perverted five year old is so popular here. This is a car lamp. Honestly though, I'm kind of a fan of him. Wow. He's a Superman, honey. That's his doll, honey. That's how he sleeps at night. What is this, babe? Another surprise box? I think so, yeah. You get one of these? Oh my god, oh my god. Yes. Honey, you can't get this. Why? Sorry, it's impossible. I can try to win you one of these. Do you want it? No. It's getting real chilly. It's so cold. And Stephanie was like, I need some clothing. Ah. Like this? Yeah, well, let's try it on. Try one of these. How much are these? Thirty oh, percent like off. You're kidding me. One hundred fifty dollars, bro. It's like literally chilling on the side of the street. I expected that to be ten dollars. We're getting scammed. It's a tourist spot, and they know it, and they know we're gonna be freezing oh. because they know that we dress cute and that we did not care about the weather. I mean, whose fault is it? Mine, but still. We're searching for some clothes for Stephanie. Something warm. Oh, this is a huge clothing shop. Oh, yes, yes. And I also want to find some clothing for Dan Dan. Oh, yeah, maybe this one for...
favorite thing are these like little knickknack stores. He's obsessed. I am obsessed. Wow. It's like there's so much treasures every corner you look to. Oh, so this is all Korean traditional gifts. Yes. Agreed. Oh my god, my favorite thing are these swords, <laughs> plastic swords. Oh my god, you will catch me like waving these swords running on the street when I was five. You must have been oh. an annoying five-year-old. No, I was perverted five-year-old. Wow, it's really graffitied up. Who's doing all this? Who that? Oh. We are completely... I completely have no clue where we are, but it's kind of a vibe here. How did we end up here? I feel like I'm in a different world right now. Wow. A little longer than a few minutes later. Mind blowing moment for me. You too. Guys, this place, you walk up yeah. and it's just a twirl all the way up. Like you just keep walking around in circles and then you just. Really and I'm like, crazy. how am I end up all the way up here? Isn't it I've never seen that in my life. A little bit sloped? You realize that immediately? Yes. Because wow. we did circles. And it wasn't the That's same That's actually sports. genius. Yeah, it's pretty smart. Stephanie has decided to go ahead and wear a pajama. I'm going to. Inside. Yeah. A pajama, honey. A yes. f***ing pajama. It can be serious. Yeah, I'm too embarrassed, so you have to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to change right now. I'm so excited. Oh my god, you have no idea how freaking cold okay. I was. Oh. It comes in pants. <gasps> Tis I'm, I'm seriously doing this right now. <laughs> It's so cold. It's so cold. Okay, I'm better now. Let's go. Come on, Hey, you know what? It's kind of smart. Are you warm now? Flip it out. Oh. Oh! Wait a minute. You look like a businesswoman. It's kind of cute. Yeah. yeah. We are back home. Stephanie is cramping more than ever, but we made it back. And it's very cute here. What a vibe, guys. Oh my god, you can see all the views. <laughs> uh, uh. I could literally fall asleep right now. It's like taking everything in me <laughs> to even keep my eyes. I'm then literally sleep, sleep, sleep. gonna go to sleep in my blazer. <laughs> While you're wearing the pajama already. I'm really excited. Guys. Guys, these are like chips, but they're healthy. Whatever, look at this. Is this a bok choy? Oh my god, they're delicious. There's an okra, like a giant okra. And this is beets. I fucking hate beets. Have you tried this okra? How much nutrition do you get from these? Look at this. This is unreal. It retains more than 90% of the nutrients. It's a great option for health conscious consumers. So 90% of the nutrition is still in this? Uh-huh. Are you freaking kidding me? I eat this all day. This is, what, squash? Mm -hmm. It's so kabocha. yummy. Guys. I that they keep the outside layer of the kabocha squash because I heard that's full of fiber. Fibers, guys, fibers. Mm. I'm eating fibers. There's a whole grain bag. This is unreal. The mushroom, try the mushroom. Well. Dry it this way. <laughs> okay, here is this jelly thing we bought. What area are we at today? Whatever. Them, I think. It's my favorite place in Korea so far. The areas are so clean. There's so much character everywhere. <sighs> so lively. So many like cute stores everywhere. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so cool. It's like a little gel, literally a jelly. Oh my god. It tastes like if you were to grab a bunch of milk tea, stick it in cornstarch. Mmm, mm, I like that. Really? Like oh, I like this a lot. I think this veggies could be my dinner right now and then I'm gonna knock out because the carrots. I regret not buying both bags. How convenient. So you're in pajama already. That's it. You just gonna pass out? It looks like Stephanie really want to sleep now. So I'm going to do my nightly routine. So the nightly routine for us, are you comfy? So our nightly routine usually, usually requires me telling her bedtime story. I'm going to tell you the most romantic story in China. Okay. Okay. So this is the Chinese version of Romeo and Juliet. Are you listening? It goes like this. There used to be a snake and this snake so in China, when these animals live long enough, they start gathering energy from the nature. When they live long enough, they become these like demons. 
they can transform into humans. Oh, you're freaking me out. They're beautiful. It's like the night tail fox. You know what I'm talking about? No, I don't know that story. Come on! Tell me about the night tail fox. So it all goes like this. Some farmer, a really nice farmer, saw a little animal on the side of the road, like a little fox. He saved the little fox. He bring the little fox home. And then the little fox turned out is a little demon. He goes to work. She transforms into a human and cleans the whole house and cooks a delicious dinner for him. And when he returns home, he just sees a perfectly clean home and a delicious meal prepped for him. And he doesn't know what the hell is going on. And then eventually, the fox, I think, turned into the most sexy, beautiful, like just the most perfect girl. Okay? She wants to marry him to pay him back for saving her. And basically, he marries the most sexy woman. But that woman is the fox. I think that's what, how it goes. I don't know, man. Stephanie is really going through it all today. You want me to do the outro? Okay, I got this. So, that's our exciting day in a traditional Korean home. She passed out early and um, that's it. We had a lot of fun. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for tomorrow because we'll be doing some crazier stuff. You know what I mean? I will see you guys in the next episode. Come on. Mm -hmm.